we want to ask you a couple things about um, just moments filming this season. Like, like because we said Pope's storyline was so intense, what was the most intense scene that you think you filmed for season two? Most intense scene? Um, hmm, that's tough. I think... I think most of like a lot of the stuff in Barbados was pretty intense just because in, in episode 10, there is just like so much happening. There's, you know, there's just a lot of big moments. Like, you know, there's, there's fights, there's the stuff in the water. Like that was from a physical standpoint, anything like in the ocean in Barbados was just like intense because we're out there and it's like, you you're, you know, you're fighting those waves and you're, and you're, and you're, you're acting at the same time. So that was, that was, a, that was pretty intense to film from that perspective. The swamp scene with the gator, John B's gator, mm-hmm. like that. It was like it was it was freezing in that water. It was it was like you know you had to run through it. So every splash that's hitting your face is like ice, Ooh. and then you're like doing it over again. So that was another physically intense scene, and just emotionally, like yeah, a lot of that stuff with like Denmark Tanny and like you know when bringing it into that real place was like. You know, I took moment. I took. I definitely took my moments to like. All right, I need to kind of like be right by myself and meditate on this and like actually try to like feel it and like bring it out. Right. I remember in um, season one when we talked to you guys, you said that you and Rudy had a lot of moments where you would joke around and that would end up on camera. Did we lose him? Oh, oh no, there, there we go. go. Sorry. No. Um, <laughs> that you guys would joke around a lot and a lot of those moments would end up on camera. Is there anything in this season that you remember was improv that ended up in the shot that you guys are shocked about? Gosh, so much. I mean, <laughs> so, so much. I'm telling you, it's like that, that party scene, they were just kind of like the pokes have a party. So we're just doing whatever until, uh, until like, you know, like they're, we're just doing ourselves, you know, until they cut. You know, some of the stuff like, like just like there were a couple of bits this year where we're just like, we just kind of like go off the cuff and we add a little bit, you know, like when, when Chase and Maddie are doing a little sappy bit at like the Tanny Hill wall and it's like, they're like getting, they're like, she's like, I want this back. And and we're just like, do you want me to do your vows? Like, <laughs> you're out here staking out this house or are we going to get to it? You know, like that kind of stuff is just like, it's because we, we notice like the moment and you're just sitting there and you're like, we just want to say what everybody's thinking right now. Like, if I was watching this, what would I be thinking? I'd be like, why are, why are you, you know, it's it's that kind of stuff that like can break some of the, uh, just some of the like the more like, what's happening here? You know, it just kind of like separates that those moments out. And, yeah, yeah. You I, and, you, and you could feel it while watching it too. Right, which is why it's so great because it is what we're all thinking. It's like, okay, are they seriously like having a conversation about their relationship right now? <laughs> and yeah. that's like the joke that definitely cuts it up and, and makes it nice. And what, you know, all the stunts you guys had to do, like you said, swimming and all of those crazy things. We love also seeing all of your stunt doubles and the relationship that you guys all have together. Um, how, like, how close did you guys get? And what were some of like the craziest things that your stunt double got to do that you thought like maybe you would have wanted to do? <laughs> I mean, so and first of all, shout out to Antoine, who is, who is my stunt double who is amazing and is and is constantly working on like big like Mar- he was in the suicide squad he was he was he was he's working on a couple of like big you know superhero movie projects and um i got real close with antoine to the point where like when i when i was in atlanta filming like he was out there i just started training with him like you know he's a cool dude and and in terms of stunts there wasn't really a stunt that he did that i, <laughs> I, I that i envied he had to do it first of all he took that fall when like pope hits the uh thing running for the air pods mm-hmm. he like he like twists himself around this uh this playground set and just eats it and i'm like damn man that's fine like dude and and like he jumped off that ship he, uh he he's taken some of those like falls and you know you know like there were a couple of other you know stunts when antoine was doing other works that came in like donnie and um and and like you know took a couple of the other falls and did some of the runs but yeah like a lot of those stunts i don't i don't envy like <laughs> if you see my face like i'm pretty i'm a pretty athletic dude like i'll do a lot of stuff i'll do most of the most of the fights i'll do straight up just because you know i'm, I'm into that and, uh, and i'm into like pushing my body 
But like some of that extra stuff, man, I can't take those falls like that. I can't yeah. do it. You're just like, I'm that's like, cool. Good for him yeah, that he could do that, but I'm not cool. going to do like, it. I can't have a torn meniscus, man. I can't have yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. What's, um, what's the relationship like when you are in those scenes with Drew Starkey and you got to like really want to kill Rafe? <laughs> and uh, and then well, when that ends. I ruin everything he stands for. Uh, his guts. <laughs> He's uh, probably the worst person you'll ever meet. And if I see him, I'll punch him in the throat. So that's, uh, that's yeah. that. <laughs> I love your guys' friendship. I feel like that's something that's just blown up online. I see it on TikTok all the time. Is like videos of you two dancing together and people just love your guys' friendship. Drew and I got real close this year too. Drew and I are always, like Drew and I are very like-minded. You know, I feel. And um, I feel like, you know, because, you know, Chase and Maddie, like, like at the end of the night when it's like 3 a.m. and everybody who's responsible goes to sleep, it's me and Drew. And we're we're, we're chilling and we're on our own and, and we're talking for like, Drew's the only person who I'll call on the phone and, and on accident we'll talk for two hours. I swear to God. Like I'll be calling him for something else and then we'll end up talking about like basketball and, and oof. What's that? We'll end up talking about like basketball and like whatever for like, you know, another hour and a half and like Drew, I can't do this with you every time. You gotta, <laughs> gotta wrap it up, man. <laughs> but yeah, like Drew and I are, we're, we're, we're kind of on our own vibes a lot of the time. I love it. He fucking crushed it as Rafe this season. Drew was one of my favorite performances this year. He he did that. He, he did a great job. He really did. Yeah. No. He we talked about it when we recapped the show. It was really uh <laughs> incredible and so intense he's so good because he's he's so good at just making you hate him so good but at love it. him at the same yeah, i like, found myself most- loving rafe i was like why do i li- like i hate him but i'm i don't know i feel like i like drew as a person now i don't even know him <laughs> i feel like i like him i saw somebody say he's like the new tom hiddleston and uh, i i agree he's kind of got that like i don't i don't want him to win but I, I, I want to watch him more. Like, I, I, I do want to keep, like, yeah. seeing where this guy goes because he's because he's really good. And he, he's got a good intensity about him. You know, I've learned, I learned a lot from Drew just watching him act, you know, like, and then in, in all the casts, I really learned a lot just, like, watching them do their thing. And he's, he's one of those guys who's really good at, like, controlling. Like, he knows how to play crazy very well. And he really went in, you know, when he was doing Rave this year. And, yeah, I think it turned out great because of it. Definitely. 